Right, so when we were talking to Scott, they were talking about their implementation of Vault Professional and how it helps kind of coordinate some things here at Federal Equipment. Now, I'm here with Alex. Alex, a project manager. Hi. How's it going, man? Good. Alex, you're a project engineer here at Federal Equipment. What, is that, what does that mean for the organization? What do you do for them? Well, I deal a lot with our manufacturing um, department as well as our engineering department. I act as a, kind of a liaison between the two. Um, when engineering releases something, um, I release the prints to our shop to be made. Um, as well as dealing with problems that arise on the manufacturing floor, I take it back to engineering and try and resolve issues that way. Um, I also deal with new releases, um, coordinating with engineering, trying to get them to design parts that can be manufactured um, and help them out. Um, so, Well, tell, tell me about what the release party was like before you guys had Vault implement, implemented. It was a good time, right? Uh, it was confusing, to say the least. Um, we had kind of our process was to take PDFs, put them on our network, hmm. um, out of the vault that engineering was using. Right. Um, so we'd have PDF versions. I could print hard copies, release those to the shop that way. The issue with that was not being able to tell if it was the latest version, if somebody in engineering was changing something on the part. Um, so there were some issues there um, with older revisions getting to the machine shop floor. Hmm. And that causes a problem down the road, obviously. Yeah, so so now with, with vault, vault, you've got you know engineers, there's your playground, play with it. But uh, everything that's in the item master and it's released, that's locked down, that's stamped, that's approved. Exactly, exactly. And I can go in and quickly see what is flagged as a work in progress, stuff that's being revised, or stuff that is released and good to go. So I have an idea, um, and based on our production schedule, I can release parts accordingly that way. Okay, so th stuff that's being revised, uh, you know, Scott mentioned that you guys are using uh, the engineering change module within uh, within Vault as well. How's yes. that working out for you? Um, that, that's excellent. Um, it, it provides us a way to track ECRs as they go through. Before we had paper paper ECRs, mm -hmm. and if they ever made it back to the file where they were supposed to go, it was a miracle. <laughs> so now that the fact that it's traceable, we can go back and see why we changed stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a great tool for us to use that so, way. So what would you what would be your action if somebody said, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know if this vault manufacturing thing or vault professional thing's working out? What, what would you tell them? Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I would like to keep it. I'd like to see us use it more. Yeah. So I would try to argue for it. Um, it's helped us a lot, I think, and okay. I'd like to get more projects into the vault. All right. Well, I'm going to go grab Ross and take a, a shop tour. Appreciate you taking time, and I know you got a laundry list of stuff to do, yeah. so I'm going to let you get back to okay. it. Okay, great. All right, see you, man. <laughs> I think he would have kicked my ass had I tried to take vault away from him. So how do you control all that power going into the advanced weapons elevator? Well, AutoCAD Electrical, of course. Next, we'll hear from Virgil on why AutoCAD Electrical allows FEC to be more efficient with their controls design.